Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. This is the set of 36 Prismacolor watercolor pencils. You can use these pencils wet or dry. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys and then we're gonna activate them so you guys can see how well they do in water. Okay, so I'm gonna push these right up here. I have a swatch card that I've made Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So here's what the pencil looks like. There's no um, color on the pencil at all. The only way you can tell what color it is is by looking at the lead or reading the name. It's just completely blonde pencil. So, you know, that's important to know. They have a color number and a color name. This is this is cream. It's very, very light ivory. The color lays down really easy. I'm only going to color in half of the box and then we're going to activate it in water and see how well the color will pull through. Okay, so that's, that is uh, cream. The next color is called canary yellow. Okay, then we have sunburst yellow. If you're looking for a color pencil that'll do more than one thing, <laughs> this one you really can use dry and it works really well. Um, and then, you know, when you're ready to, or if you want to, activate it in water, you can do that too. That's a really good yellow. That's a really good mustard yellow. Okay, this is called orange. I like, I like art supplies that do more than one thing for me. So this is a good one. Okay, this is a very, very pale pink. It's called light peach. This is a skin tone. And then we have blush pink. Oh my gosh, it always scares me when I break a tip. That's okay. I sharpened my pencils and I have a really good point on my pencils at the moment. And you always have to be careful. If you have a, if you have a really sharp pencil, just, you know, Mind how much pressure you put on it because it, it, you can break a tip really easily. Okay, this color, oh, did I read, did I tell you what color this was? This one's just called pink. Okay, so that was just plain pink. And then we have carmine red. Okay. The next color is poppy red. These colors are very pigmented because you can already see how pigmented these are, just dry like they are. This is crimson red. Okay, now we're getting into our greens. This is spring green. There is a little bit of crumble that comes off of these, but it's not, it's not bad. This is called true green. Oh God, I did it again. Well, that's what happens when you sharpen your pencils, Katie. Okay, so some pencils, let me just show you guys again. See how sharp my pencil is? Some pencils just will hold this point much better than others. This is, this pencil for some reason, I mean the slightest bit of pressure, the tip's gonna break, it's just a soft lead. But, I don't know, I still like doing my pencils this sharp. I just like a really, really sharp pencil. But if you're gonna do that, like I said, don't put a lot of pressure on the tip. 
But Prismacolors lately have been, I mean, I think all everybody who has them notices they tend to break easy. I don't know why. Okay, this color is called Olive Green. I love Olive Green. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful color. Okay, now we have Grass Green. And then our last green we have is called Dark Green. Now this is a set of 36. They come in sets of like 12, 24, and 36. I think 36 is, is the largest of the sets. This is Lilac. But you can use these guys with your Prismacolors. The colors match the Prismacolors, um, the regular pencils. This is Mulberry. <clears throat> that's a really, that's a really beautiful color. Then we have Violet. Uh, next is Violet Blue. Oh, Lordy. And then we have, um, what does that say? It says non-photo blue. That's new to me. I've never heard of non-photo blue before. Okay, now we have true blue. And Peacock Blue. I love Peacock Blue. It's pretty. It's a good blue. Okay, guys, I'm using watercolor paper because we are going to wet the product um, in a minute. So I just want to let you guys know that. This is Ultramarine Blue. And then uh, Copenhagen, which is like a really beautiful navy. The next color is called Indigo Blue. And these are kind of crumbly, so you'll see me do that every now and again. Uh, we have Goldenrod. And then we have terracotta. Next color is called Sienna Brown. Next is dark brown. Dark Umber. And then we move into our grays. This is called French Gray 20%. Very light gray. It's a beautiful gray. Very taupey. And then we have Cool Gray number, excuse me, Cool Gray 50%. Oh, there it goes again. And then we have a black. And then we have a white, which I'm not going to swatch. Okay, so now let's uh, see how well they activate in water. I have my Princeton half inch wash brush that I love. I'm going to get it wet and then we're going to go into this cream color. 
You guys aren't really going to see this. It's so light. Let's move on to the next color. Okay, here's a yellow. They activate really, really well. I'm just pulling the color through. Here's the orange. And there's a soft pink. This is like a, a skin tone. You'll see it better once I get into the really dark colors, how well they activate. There's a lot of pigment in these um, watercolor pencils. going outside the lines. You'll have to be more careful. Look at that. Just pulling that through that red. It's a lot of pigment. It's nice. Did you guys hear that horn? That train horn? And the train is not even close to my house, and I, it's so loud. You can hear it. These activate so nicely in water. If you just wiggle your brush over the, um, the color, you can get it to completely dissolve. Just like wiggle it back and forth just like this. You can totally get um, complete that well like you you won't see your uh, your marks anymore which you know not all not all watercolor pencils will dissolve completely but this one if you wiggle it back and forth just like this you can get all of that to dissolve. It's really Quite impressive when it when you do that. Just wiggling and then I'm pulling it through and I'm going back over it very softly. I'm not scrubbing. Um, I'm very very softly wiggling my brush because you don't want to tear your paper um, depending on you know the quality of your paper but you just want to gently wiggle it back and forth and then it'll completely dissolve all that pigment. Beautiful. This is not as pigmented as, let's say, um, a, a Derwent ink tense or the Derwent watercolors even. But it's a beautiful watercolor pencil that, that will dissolve. I don't think, if you get this, these, this set of pencils, I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is a good set. There's not a lot of colors. I mean, 36. Well, 36 isn't a tremendous amount of color, but you, you guys know that if you already have watercolor pencils, you can use you can use all of your watercolor pencils together. You can mix and match. That's totally okay. I just really want to show you guys how well these dissolve. It really performs nicely. I mean, look at this green right here. It just completely, oh, well, well, all the colors really, but this is so dark, you can really see how it completely dissolved. 
like I said, you just wiggle your brush a little bit. I love doing this. It's so calming. I have a little bit too much water maybe on my brush right there. The color's wanting to travel. That's okay. Oh, I had a little bit of blue in that. Let me take that out. This is a good assortment of colors. And in a second, I'm going to actually show you how you can make this set become more colors than just this. So just hang tight. I'll do that in a second. There's the browns. The browns have so much pigmentation in them. And here's the gray. It's that really light gray. That's nice. It's that medium shade of gray. And then we have the black. Our last color we're going to swatch. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how you can take these colors and make more colors. Let me go grab my palette. Grab another piece of um, watercolor paper. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side to dry. Okay, this is my Caran d'Ache uh, palette for. Um, well, any wet media, any wet media you can use this palette with. Okay, so let me show you how it works. This palette is textured. Can you guys hear that? It's not a smooth palette, it's textured. Oh my gosh, now we have helicopters. You hear that? Trains, now helicopters. Okay, so it's textured. So what you do is you take your watercolor pencil and you color onto it. Okay? And then you get a wet brush and you activate it. And now you color with this. You can just use this to color with, just like that. Isn't that fabulous? Now let me show you how you can actually mix your own colors. So let me take, let me take, um, I'll just take this shade of green. I don't even know what shade. This is olive green. Oh, <laughs> well, okay, we'll use this one. Here's olive green. And then let's say I'll take this brown. What brown did I use? Dark brown. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water to these two colors. I'm going to blend these two colors together. And then I'll put that down. So I've made a brand new color. And let's say I don't like that. Let's say, hmm. I'm going to add, I want to make it darker, so I'll add dark green to that. You can just color right next to it. Blend that color. You see what I'm doing? You can just keep going until you find a color. Oh, wow. So now I've made a light olive green and then a, a darker green. And let's say I go, no, I want some yellow ochre in that. So this is not yellow ochre. It's called goldenrod, but guys, I mean, I would call that a yellow ochre. Okay, 
So then I mix that in there and I've just made a whole new color. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so you can use um, your colors, these pencil colors, if you use this palette right here, you can make so many colors. Let me show you the color palette right here. Okay, so I've taken these colors from this color palette. Oh gosh, I just stuck my hand in it. Um, and then I've created these really nice soft watercolors, brand new colors, just for mixing these colors on this palette. It's so easy to do, guys. Let's do a little bit more. I'm going to take this green, clean my brush, and let's say, I'm just going to grab one, willy-nilly, just grab one. Oh, I think I'm going to grab this one. This is violet blue. What should we mix? Let's say I'm going to mute this down. Let me go in with this color. What is this? Sienna Brown. We'll just mix a little brown in with that blue and see what happens. Mix those two colors together. Ooh. Ooh, look what color I just made. Isn't that fabulous? So you see, I just created a brand new blue right here. It's not on here. I just made it, mixing a couple colors, a brown and a blue, to create this really cool, like, muted indigo color. So, guys, even if you buy a set of, like, this is a set of 36, you can create so many more colors besides just what you have by mixing your colors. So, you can mix colors with watercolor pencils. It's totally, you can do it exactly the same way you would your pan watercolors. You just use this little palette, mix up your colors, and it's just easy, fabulous, and look how pigmented these colors are. These are beautiful watercolors. All right, guys, I hope this helps you. I hope I've taught you something because this is a really great tip. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link below to not only these watercolors, but I'm also going to leave a link to this fabulous palette. I love this palette. This You can use this actually with, uh, let's say, your uh, water-soluble um, graphite pencils, things like that. Anything that is like one of those dry... Uh, crayon mediums or pencil mediums that you can also activate with water. You can use, well obviously, you can use your Caran d'Ache. Um, oh my gosh, what the heck is it called? Um, Neo Colors. <laughs> you can use your Caran d'Ache Neo Colors with this and just, you know, use your crayon on there. All of your water soluble oil pastels you can use on this and it's just, this is a fabulous, fabulous um, Thing to have in your art supplies. You can use it for so many things. I absolutely love it. Okay, so this is great. The colors are beautiful. And don't forget to mix them. Make your own colors because it's so super cool and fun. But this is a good palette. This is a good basic watercolor palette. And like I said, don't forget, you can also use these dry and use them with your regular watercolor, I mean, excuse me, regular colored pencils. So you can use them dry, and when you wet them, they activate, they do dissolve all the way, which is a really big deal. I think everyone, you know, if you're interested in these, it's good to know you can get these to dissolve all the way, even though you've, um, even after you've drawn them onto the paper. That's a big deal. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you later. Bye!